Hello and welcome to CML Theatre Movie Review, home of independent films. <laughs> this one movie that had me dying laughing. I laughed at a whole entire movie. The fatalities in this movie is off the hook. But this is not a movie that you want to take too serious. But we're about to get into that right now here on CML Entertainment. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Lumberjack Man. <laughs> this movie was off the chain, y'all. The movie was directed by Josh Bear, also written by Josh Bear. There's a lot of other writers too. Um, written by Bill Mu Mushi, um, Ed Connell, and Matt Matt Enton. This movie was off the chain. Okay, for for starters, when the movie starts off, the movie starts off with you seeing the Lund lumberjack man just preparing himself. And when I say preparing himself, the man is just loading up. You can tell he's on a mission to kill some people. Not one person, a lot of people. Because you see the man like just getting his weapons together. He's putting his weapons in and getting shit together. <laughs> then he just start making some pancakes. <laughs> but then I'm not going to lie to you. At first, I did not understand the pancake situation until later in the movie. Then I understood the pancake situation. But then you see these, these camp, which is, you, you see these... Everyone on the bus, I guess they're supposed to be teenagers, right? Mm -hmm. But some of them don't look like they was goddamn teenagers. I'm not going to lie to you. Some of them look like they was like in their 30s. I'm not, <laughs> not going to lie to you. I think that's always funny about slasher films, how they take people that's older and then try to make them seem like the kids. <laughs> but that is some, it's some funny liners on this movie. There's some really good comedy in this movie. The movie had Adam Sessler and it also had Michael Madsen, all of the ones that I was you know the people that I known of but they on the bus they on their way to summer is it it's like summer Bible camp mm -hmm. and <laughs> so they get there you know they're doing the usual typical stuff you know how usually movies like this go you know just go to camp somebody wants to screw somebody uh, you got two dense ass females on there <laughs> <laughs> but like I said every part of this movie is really funny but then when the lumberjack man comes in I swear, every moment in this movie remind me of Mortal Kombat. If you have played Mortal Kombat before, every movie, every every killing in this movie is a fatality at best. Like the one girl, <laughs> he took her because he done killed the guy that she had sex with. So he, so she saw him and he just picked the girl up and just broke her ass like in every which way you could possibly imagine. I mean, took her, took a leg, broke it over her head, took her other leg, broke over her head, broke her arms, and then had her ass set up like a table and then he threw a cloth over so he can get ready to eat these big dookie ass pancakes <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> these pancakes was huge and he put it on her so he decided that he didn't like the table so he do the pancake off do the um took the sheet wrapped up and then threw her ass at a tree i was no good when i saw that that like i said the killings i don't want to spoil this film i just that's just one of the killings i definitely want to say but um Adam Sessler was funny as shit in this movie. He was really funny. Michael Madsen was funny. I like the part where he was trying to beat up the lumberjack man. But it's so funny because the lumberjack man was letting him hit him. So he was just doing multiple punches, like all types of punches. And then he just banged his ass one time. Knocked him out. I was no good. The movie is just funny from beginning to the end. Even though I felt like it was dragged out a little bit. But before I get any further than that, let's get this movie rated, shall we? I give this movie a bunch of flat jacks and a big ass smiley face. Oh, yeah. And you know what? You can tell the director and the writers had fun making this film. Like I said, this is not a film that you want to take too serious. This is something that you dive in, enjoy it for what it is, and have fun with it. If you think about the movies that was back in the 80s, they wasn't that serious. But it was just fun to watch. It was just fun to watch everybody get fucked up and how stupid the, the stupid decisions that they make. You just enjoy watching that. And I enjoy movies like this. This is one of your guilty pleasure movies. You know, the ones that you don't really take serious. You just watch it and you, you see what they're trying to do with the film and just enjoy it. And that's why I did the review for this film. You can check it out on Amazon right now. The Lumberjack Man. Check it out. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you think about Lumberjack Man because I told you what I thought about it. I thought it was, it was mad funny. The the killings in here is mad, all types of fatalities. You can think of, like, especially when he beat the girl to death with a big ass pancake. <laughs> I was no good. <laughs> Like, I mean, repeatedly beat her ass with a pancake until she died. I was no good. And like I said, the, the, the killings overall is the major thing in this film. But the comedy is spot on, too. And to all my movie lovers, I love you. <laughs>